Guys, IRCC has once again broken all records. First time in history, about 7,000 invitations have gone out after a long, long wait of express entry draws. Now, this draw was extremely special because tons of students were going out of status and the most awaited draw of 2023 is finally out. And yes, it has broken all records. We will be discussing this important draw today with regards to the express entry draws for permanent residents. If you are interested in this video, please be sure to watch till the end. My name is Sahil. Guys, welcome back once again. My name is Sahil and I'm a regulated Canadian immigration consultant and I practice in Ontario. My office is here. If you have to get in touch with me, my number is on the screen and the details are there in the description box. More than happy to connect with you. Before we proceed any further, please make sure that you hit the subscribe button and the bell icon because we talk a lot about Canadian immigration. And if you are an aspirant of moving to Canada, then this is a channel that you must be subscribed to all the time. So guys, what we're discussing today is the most awaited topic of 2023 so far because the last two months have almost been very dry for tons of people around the globe. Now, the important news is that IRCC has finally taken out the all program express entry draw and this time about 7000 invitations have gone out to applicants with a minimum CRS of 490. Now with 490, the cutoff, the uh, people have would have received an invitation within, uh, you know, this time till now or maybe within the first 24 hours. And after you receive the invitation, you have 60 days to upload all the documents for IRCC on the express entry profile. This particular draw was an all program draw, which means Canadian experience class, federal skilled trades and the federal skilled worker, all of the categories were invited. If you look at the previous four draws, they were actually program specific. So as to say provincial nomination programs or federal skilled worker only, that means none of the Canadian experience class candidates got that particular draw or those four draws. The last one held was in the month of January where about 5,500 people were invited again. It was an all program draw and with that tons of people got their invitations. Through a series of the previous rounds of invitation, first, you know, uh, very few rounds were held in these particular previous draws. IRCC actually raised hopes with Canadian experience class people because the scores kept on dropping. The last draw was seen at about 489 and with 489 people were expecting the draw to sit at closer to about 486 or something like that. But if you look at the pool composition right now, the express entry pool of you know candidates, it is sitting at an all time high of 245,000 candidates. Now with that particular scenario, if you look at the breakup of candidates, uh, about 784 candidates are sitting at 601 plus scores. Between 500 and 600, about 3,216 people are sitting in the pool and between 491 and 500. So just a gap of about 10 points, about 2,603 people are sitting. So technically 491 plus 6,603 people are there in the express entry pool. If you talk about people between 481 and 490, about 12,183 people are sitting in the express entry pool as on date. With this particular composition and with, you know, about 7,000 invitations going out, we can definitely expect a 490 draw, a sub 490 draw in the coming days, provided IRCC continues to A, invite all programs, B, make sure that they continue to invite such a number of people because if they reduce the number of draws, say for example, they start going back to 3,500 people or 5,000 people, then seeing a sub 490 draw can or cannot be. So it will be right at the point. So we will definitely see sub 490, but not to the lowers of 480. People are in, in the pool with sitting at around 480s, 483, 484 and 486. People have been raising hopes already. Another news that you must take care of would be Bill C-19. Now, as promised earlier, Bill C-19 is already making rounds. They will be ready to fire up the, um, you know, the buckets anytime soon in spring. Now, spring in Canada is already here. It's almost here. I mean, next week is expected to be spring. So definitely we could see, you know, some action coming up in the couple of weeks to come. With that particular thing, if Bill C-19 comes into picture, 
God knows what's going to happen to the draws. It could be an all program draw with a higher cutoff and then they could start focusing on buckets. Say for example, a separate bucket for CEC, separate bucket based on knock codes, separate bucket based on people in a particular country, could be age group, education, could be anything, right? So we are yet to see those buckets, uh, you know, in the, in the coming particular weeks and months. With Beal C19 coming in, drastic changes coming. So I believe that the upcoming few draws will be the last of few um, where 480s and you know 485s or something like that could be seen and then the game will change around Bill C19. So guys, it is extremely high time that you get done with your IELTS, improve your IELTS, make sure that you have your friends also ready and be ready for a big season of changes coming up in Bill C19 in the coming days. And as far as today's draw is concerned, 7,000 people, guys, congratulations. You have 60 days starting today to upload your documents. If you're already inside Canada, once you upload the documents, wait for the R10 check to clear, and then you could be ready for your bridging open work permits if you're eligible for them. Guys, if you want any help in assessing your profiles or if you want to check your documents before you submit to IRCC, feel free to make use of our services. We would be more than happy to speak with you. Please feel free to book a consultation and then I would be more than happy to speak with you in person. Guys, wish you all the best and I really hope to see you soon in Canada. All the best.